guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Crystal and we are currently renovating our house and I'm sharing the process with you guys. We just, we're not gonna say finish, but we are getting so close to finishing our kitchen. Um, and I have been finally putting things away and organizing and cleaning and decluttering. And in today's video, I wanted to show you how I organized underneath the sink. Um, sometimes I feel like we think we need a lot more than we actually do need. And so in this video, um, you will see I have pared down all of my cleaning products to the bare minimum. And I think it's going to be just fine. There are like two products that I don't really need because I have one product that will do pretty much everything. But I like the other two products, so I'm keeping them. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy. And subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to have you. And without further ado, let's get to organizing. To start, you can see me here. I am cutting out peel and stick wallpaper that I found at Target on clearance. I will have it linked in the description box below. It is perfect and I'm just cutting it to the size of the bottom of the cabinet. I wanted to have something protective in there and I think this will be perfect for that. But as you can see here, I have lots of tubes and um, cords that I'm working around. But I just cut it to size and then you'll see me here using a scraper to scrape out all of the bubbles. It actually is so much easier than I thought it would be. I I usually have my husband do stuff like this, but I did it perfectly fine and I did it in all of the drawers in my kitchen too, which I cannot wait to share those with you. So stay tuned, but um, I'm just gonna keep doing that and then I, at the end, you will see I went all the way to the end and then left it, but then I went back and just cut around the pipes and it worked out great. I didn't show this part, but I went through all of the things that I had in tubs and decluttered everything that I possibly could. I wanted to just keep the things that we actually use and um, use those as part of my, I guess you could call it de decoration. So next you'll see me here, I ha got this label maker um, at Staples, I'll link it. It's so cute. I love the simplicity of it. Uh, and I just labeled everything in there. I, you don't have to label everything in there but or under your sink, but I just really liked the way that this looked. And since I use the SOS pads and the magic eraser, and obviously we use dish pods, um, those are the three that I made. And I got these glass jars at Walmart and they worked out perfect for this project. Anytime that I can marry function and beauty together, I am all for that. I like to be able to see what we have and um, it. In, I'm not even against using like the actual boxes and things that things come in like in a pantry and, and stuff. But this in this situation, I thought it would be um, nice to use everything as decor. All right, moving along, I picked up this um, cleaning caddy at Walmart again it'll be linked and this is just the cleaning products that I have and that I use and that's that's it I use the thieves cleaner for pretty much everything you can use it for everything but I still like to have glass cleaner and cleaner to clean my uh, stainless steel and I have a new um, farmhouse sink and I've read all the things about keeping it clean and um, Barkeeper's Friend was the number one product that people use. But in there, I just keep that in the back. Like I said, there's not a lot of room back there. And so that little cleaning caddy fit perfect. And again, it's absolutely darling. This is probably my favorite thing I came up with. I buy my garbage bags at Costco and they come in a huge roll and they are always just in the way and this little tin bucket one roll fits in there perfect so I can store the other one downstairs um, 
We always are needing garbage bags so they're easy and accessible and look at how stinking cute that is. Next up, I'm just going to be folding some washcloths. I bought these ones on Amazon. They're a waffle knit and they're white and they're pretty and they wash so well. I am so impressed with how well that they hold up because a lot of washcloths, once you wash them, they shrink and they just never work as good. But I'm just putting those in the front there. Um, again, I'm going to label that dishcloth. And then in the back there, I have a couple Norwex um, cloths that my mom or I think gave me somebody gave them to me and I do really like them um, and so I'm going to keep those and they're just going to be tucked in behind um, the dishcloth. I have found that the simplest things in life bring me the most joy and that liner brings me so much joy and these bins like it just the simple things in life you guys it's about the simple things all right so under there I also wanted to keep my dish um, towels I have a couple of different styles but I like these ones um, that I'm rolling up here those like are more absorbent and so they're good for like laying dishes out to dry I have a couple of those and then I have a couple um, like flower sacks that I love to use just like when I'm doing dishes to put my hand like dry my hands or wipe up a spill or whatever and I love how that looked and that little basket is from Target too and it's perfect I'll have that linked as well. Once I got everything in there, I was ready to put the glass jars in. And I wanted to just give you a little tip. I had some of those um, rubber stops that you put on the back of doors left over. And I put four of them um, on those lids so that when you picked them up and put them back, you didn't like the glass didn't hit each other. And it, they, it worked out so good. And perfect so everything I need under here nothing more and um, I am noticing now as I'm watching this back I do use that new um, Dawn power wash stuff that is so good I don't put my pots and pans in the dishwasher so having that is just great I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, I spent a lot of time I was trying to take lots of different angles of footage and putting it together best that I know how. I'm still not very good at all this editing and photo stuff, but I'm trying. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the description box. Um, and please leave me a comment letting me know what you think about it. And I will catch you guys in my next kitchen video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Bye.